Hi everyone. Today the topic is volumetric properties, calculation of volume by different correlations. So we'll see how we can calculate the molar volume by different correlations. So determine the molar volume of n butane at 510 Kelvin and 25 bar by each of the following. Number one is ideal gas equation. Second one, generalized compressibility factor correlation, generalized virial coefficient correlation. So, how we can solve this by using different equations? So, we have to find the molar volume of n butane. So, first thing is by using ideal gas equation. So, the ideal gas equation is V equal to R T by P. So, substituting the values of temperature, pressure and R. So, the temperature and pressure are given as 510 Kelvin and 25 bar. So, that we are using here. So, when you calculate this RT by P, we are getting the volume is 1696.1 centimeter cube per mole. Next one is by using the generalized compressibility factor correlation. So, for this we have to take the values from appendix B. So, this you can get it from uh, Smith and Vanus textbook. So, from that we are taking the values of TC and PC. So, TC is 425.1, PC is 37.96 for N butane. So, by using that we have to calculate TR and PR. So, TR is equal to T by TC which is equal to 510 by 425.1 which is 1.200. Similarly, PR is P by PC, which is equal to 25 by 37.96, that is 0 0.659. So, taking these values and interpolation of these values in tables E1 and E2 gives you the values of Z0 and Z prime. So, again you have to check the textbook Smith and Vanus. So, Z0 is given as 0 0.865, Z prime A is 0 0.03H. So, by using the equation, Z is equal to Z0 plus omega Z prime. So, again we have to substitute these values and calculate. So, 0 0.865 plus 0 0.200 into 0 0.03H. So, which is calculated as 0 0.873. So, Z is equal to 0 0.873. Now, again we have to calculate volume which is equal to ZRT by P. So, substituting the values we get 0 0.873 into 83.14 into 510 by 25 which is equal to 1480.7 centimeter cube per mole. Then we have to calculate by using the generalized virial coefficient correlation. So, for that we have to take the equations B0 is equal to 0 0.083 minus 0 0.422 by TR power 1.6. So, we have to substitute the values 0 0.083 minus 0 0.422 already TR is calculated. So, it is 1.200 power 1.6 which you get as minus 0 0.232. Similarly, B prime is 0 0.139 minus 0 0.172 by TR power 4.2. Again, we have to substitute the value and we get B prime as 0 0.139 minus 0 0.172 by 1.2 power 4.2, which you get as 0 0.059. So, after calculating B naught, B naught and B prime, we get the equation, we have to consider the other equation that is BPC by RTC is equal to B0 plus omega B prime. So, substituting these values, we get BPC by RTC is equal to minus 0 0.232 plus 0 0.200 into 0 0.059 which is equal to minus 0 0.22. So, again you have to consider the equation Z is equal to 1 plus BPC by RTC 
into PR by TR. So substituting this this term here, so one plus zero point minus zero point two two zero into zero point six five nine by one point two zero. So by solving this, we get Z as zero point eight seven nine. Again, we have to substitute in the equation V is equal to Z R T by P. So, which is equal to zero point eight seven nine into eighty three point one four into five ten by twenty five. So, which is equal to fourteen ninety point eight seven centimeter cube per mole. So, these are the different values of molar volume from different correlations. So, after calculating, we can compare these values by using different equations. There is ideal gas equation, generalized compressibility factor relation, and generalized virial coefficient correlation. so by using different correlations if you calculate molar volume you get almost nearby values so we can compare these values with the scientific calculated values also so in this way we can solve this problem and we can estimate molar volume by using different correlations so this is the today's topic so if you like my video please subscribe my channel Please like and share my videos. Thank you so much.